globules kind of dance across it. Like, this is what happens when, you know, like, see it? So it's not, it, it's, it automatically when it enters our atmosphere, it has to dissipate. It's, it can't, it's, it can't survive. That's why it's constantly converting to gas. The only way to hold liquid nitrogen is under, pre is under pressure. So right now, this is just boiling off, boiling off into our atmosphere. Don't worry about nitrogen. Nitrogen is over 70% of what we breathe in the Earth's, Earth's atmosphere is nitrogen. So it's completely uh, harmless. All right. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, another component on your dessert is a brownie. Everybody has a brownie recipe, you don't need mine. Yours is probably better anyway. So. We're going to do two things with our liquid nitrogen. First thing we're going to do is, uh, here's, uh, I got the, where's this dead mirror? Now you can see, right? Cool. What do you mean? No, I can see it. It's better back here? Yes? I can't please you guys, man. Oh, they're happy now? Finally. Alright. Alright. This is chocolate. What's going on here? Oh, this thing's freaking out. It looks like a night rider. Alright. So this is just melted chocolate into the liquid nitrogen. Sure. Sure. Give me a... So check this out. So I get these. Okay, that should have covered everybody. So it freezes it instantly into like this little like little strand of chocolate. It's amazing. They give me a little bit of crunch. So much of what I do as a pastry chef, I'm looking for new textures. You know, so if I can get chocolate super fine in a new texture, just have it dissolve in your mouth and eat it. Perfect. Are you guys ready to serve? Sure, man. Like they're waiting for an invitation. So the next thing we're doing is take our our foam here. Do the banner thing. All right, cool. So 